All right. So this evening we're gonna do trucks too. So uh, I think it was last night, the other last video I did on trucks. I did all my open trucks and I teased the the uh, package ones that I would open. So we're gonna start with uh, some mainline cars, and we're gonna start from left to right. So this is the Volkswagen Caddy from the Hot Wheels Showroom Edition. Uh, and when this was sold in the United States, this was sold as the Rabbit Pickup. Uh, and years later, I found out it was called the uh, Volkswagen Caddy everywhere. This is a 2015 model. Um, many years ago, I uh, went to a used car lot and I test drove a diesel version of these of this and it was very slow but it was a really cool little truck but it was just too expensive for my budget at that time and uh, I really regret that because uh, that would have been a unique vehicle that probably would have lasted a long time diesel engines are notorious for lasting a long time um, and it was an early enough one that uh, Volkswagen quality was pretty damn good at that time. This would have been the late 1980s, um, maybe even 1990. Uh, so let's crack this open and see what kind of job Hot Wheels has done with this. All right, I'm trying to save the card art. A little like scrapbook. All right, so stripes, uh, fender flares, uh, bumper delete, nice intercooler. They did a good job on the front with the grill, the VW emblem, the headlights, the intercooler, um, a metal body, uh, plastic base, but a nice uh, molded chin spoiler into the base. Uh, these basic five spoke rims are not not terrible. Ah, I see even a, a painted door handle there on both sides. So uh, included in the tampo is there. The uh, tail lights are not not tampo. It's hard to tell. I mean, it's a candy apple red. So uh, and the Volkswagen in Boston, the tailgate uh, dual exhaust <laughs> coming out the back. Uh, a skateboard in the bed and an open sunroof. What is the little X brace for? Huh? Bucket seats. Actually, the interior is not too bad. Um, you know what? This is. I. I mean, I like that on the card. It, this is not a bad. This is not a bad little model. The Hot Wheels did right by this. I like this. Um, I mean, I've never seen one in the United States with the fender flares. I mean, it's obviously a modified version, but that actually would be pretty cool. I think the I think the one I nearly bought was an eighty six or eighty five. I'd have to look up what year they stopped or what they stopped selling these in the United States. It was only they only sold these for a few years. The golf, which came here as the rabbit, and then went to golf and then went back to rabbit and then went back to golf, um, uh, has been sold here nonstop. But uh, the poor caddy rabbit pickup. It only lasted a few years, uh, and that's a shame. And at that point, the, the market wasn't very good for diesels. Uh, and then I got this one also this year, Hot Wheels. The Trucks Land Rover Series 3 pickup. Um, Cord art's very nice. Uh, a Land Rover Defender Series 3, um, or a Series 3 that became Defender, 2017 model year. <coughs> Ooh, there's hope. I see some details. So let's see if we can get this. Woof. There we go. I like the red and white. I, I think that looks authentic. The uh, <laughs> left-hand steering wheel. So I guess for export to the U.S., Tampa works nice on the front. Headlights, turn indicators. There's a winch, that iconic Land Rover grill. Um, 
You almost expect to see this on Doc Tari with the uh, zebra stripes and the spare tire mounted on the hood. There's a spare tire molded into the bed. Um, not much in the way of details on the side, but that's okay. In real life, these don't have a lot of details. Uh, they have little mirrors molded in. Um, the red and the white top. Uh, the gray part of the bed is part of the interior. Those horrible sliding windows. I have a friend in Florida, an, an Australian who lives in Florida, who has uh, the Defender 90, um, not the pickup, an older one. Actually, I shouldn't say Defender. He has, a, a, I think it's a 79 or so. Um, he loves that damn thing. And they did a nice job with the tampons in back. There's the turn indicator and, and taillights and the Land Rover badge and a little license plate. It says Hot Wheels. Uh, and since it's a main line, you can forgive the uh, plastic base uh, because at least it's molded in gray so it looks like a steel bumper and the grill and so forth. So, uh, again, I'm happy with this. And I don't beat up on every Hot Wheels and Matchbox. Just, just the crap. Um, all right, we're going to leave, we're going to go stage right here. We're going to go for one that I've had for a while. This little Matchbox MBX Road Trip 1961 Ford Ranch here. I've showed off several times. Uh, let's see. Oh, copyright 2018. I guess I haven't had it that long, two years. Um, and, you know, I love Falcons. Uh, I love Rancheros. I love anything Ford almost. The only thing I don't love from Ford is what I drive at work is the Ford Transit Connect. Um, you know, for, for my job, it's just a horrible little truck. Um, so this dusty rose color, uh, I don't know if Ford would have, I mean, Ford would have sold a bigger car in this color, but I don't know if that. So uh, door handle, lock, Ranchero badge, gas cap. Uh, these same basic disc wheels that look good on these classic models. Um, luckily, the grill and headlights are molded into this gray base, so they don't look that bad. If it was white like that little Nissan or, or yellow or something, it would look horrible. Uh, and the base is gray. The interior is a similar gray. And basic bench seat, dashboard, and steering wheel. Um, oh, so it's got decent tampos on back for the uh, tail lights with the chrome rings, the Ford, and the latch for the tailgate. So that's actually not too bad. This is looking up. I mean, I could take a pen, paint pen and put a little white on those headlights. And yeah, it's an interesting color. This is more what I expect, like from from Grandma's chair. Uh, Rather than, I mean, you know, yes, Ford, Ford was Ford, uh, Ford and General Motors were always competing with the colors, the pastels and so forth, uh, especially in 1961. So, again, not beating up on Matchbox. That's that's actually, I you know, that's pretty cool. And what do we have here? Hot Wheels. Um, this is a, a 1965 Ford Ranchero, a Falcon Ranchero. Um, and I had, uh, this is uh, from a series I had only a couple of. The, uh, I had the Bronco, which was a disappointment. And this 79 Ford truck, which I love. Those are the only two besides this Ranchero that I have from this collection. Uh, copyright 2018. And I like that color. Also a color that... This would not be a factory color, but that's okay. It would be something that you could see somebody customizing their own personal one. And these things are like hen's teeth. You can't you can't find them. Not in any they they're all gobbled up. So ah, oh, Hot Wheels, you wound me. So it's got the. Uh, Hood opening with the uh, fuel injection stacks coming through. It's got a chrome interior, left-hand drive, as an American market would. These black rims actually don't look too bad. They look like a black steely, 
and that chrome ring uh, doesn't look too bad. Uh, again, you know, uh, metal body, plastic base, copyright 2010, 65 Ford Ranchero. Um, no taillight tampos, paint pen. The tonneau cover uh, is molded in, so no open bed. But, you know, well, that's okay. Um, I like the golden white. Uh, the white is like a factory stripe. This black stripe is like something you'd see on a Mustang or something. Uh, there's your Hot Wheels logo on the back. Uh, luckily, uh, the chrome interior gives you the chrome engine and the chrome bumper and headlights. Uh, to fix that up, you could just put a little white pen on the lights themselves and then the turn indicators in amber and that would look much better. Um, that chrome interior, there's not a lot you can do about that. I guess, you know, if you were a customizer like uh, 2 HD Cat, you could, you know, uh, drill the, bay, uh, the rivets and, and separate it and maybe paint the interior. Um, I've seen some of his customs. They are very nice. If, if, you, uh, uh, if you're into that, I do watch a lot of the custom videos. Go over and check out um, some of the customs he's done for the various competitions. Uh, he's a fun he's a fun guy. He comments here, and he's uh, I like his cars. I like his videos. So, and then we're down to these two, and uh, this was one I was excited for, and this was a gift from Big Dap Pacino. I had been looking for this and couldn't find one, and I'm not gonna lie and say that I owned. A 91 GMC Cyclone, I did not. But similar colors, I did own a 94 Chevy S10 SS. So it was black with the red trim. Uh, and that's where uh, this departs. This is obviously a 2020 car, Hot Wheel Hot Trucks. Um, and very anticipated now. So I think this is the first release, and then it came out in red. Um, and everybody's seen this reviewed, but I'm going to open it up because that's what I do. And from the side, it's sharp. These wacky rims uh, are not bad looking. They look like something that somebody may put on aftermarket on one of these. Uh, they've got the nice Cyclone badge, black tonneau cover. The ugly truth, no details, but with a paint pen, the headlights could be done, the GMC logo and the turn indicators. Give it a little color on that. Uh, thankfully, they did the tampo for the taillights and the badges. Uh, GM, what does it say? Cyclone on the left, but GMC. GMC truck. I don't know that it actually said that. I've seen these in real lives. In life, they're not, I mean, they were not so uncommon. They're very fast. Um, Turbocharged intercooled V6, all wheel drive. They couldn't carry much weight, maybe as much as a thousand pounds. I don't know what that is metric. Um, but uh, they were very fast. They were as fast as. Uh, Buick GNX or Corvette or even a Ferrari. Uh, famously, one of the automotive magazines, Motor Trend or Car and Driver, I forget which one, raced one of these against a Ferrari and it won. Uh, it might have been an older Ferrari. I mean, this was uh, 1991. Um, 1991? Yeah, 1991. And the year this came out, <laughs> I was driving a 5 liter Mustang, so I didn't feel too bad. Uh, because my 5-liter Mustang cost half of what these... These things were expensive. Um, but they were worth it. And save this one, uh, arguably the best for last. It's not going to be the best. I think right now, the surprise of this is the Volkswagen Caddy. Uh, for having front details and so forth. But so far, they were all, they were all pretty good. Um... We're going to finish up the main line with this one. So this is the 69 Chevy pickup. This is not the treasure hunt or super treasure hunt. Uh, I don't look for those things. 
Um, for a dollar car, this is not bad. Um, this, I believe, is new for 2020. It's got a 2018 copyright. Uh, so I guess it was. I, I know I watched another video recently where they showed the original version of this is a retooling. That was on Champion DJK. Uh, I happen to love green is my favorite color. And as much of a Ford guy as I am, the very first truck I owned was a Chevy. And it was a Chevy Stepside. Now, I don't have a version of that one. My Chevy was newer than this. I don't know why this one's so tough to come off the package, but there we go. And the yellow and orange are a bit much. The yellow rings on the wheel. If they were chrome or, or I don't know. Um, this is obviously a custom. No, no Chevy pickup came from the factory with a billet grill and head, uh, hidden headlights. Um, very nice. And for those that are not familiar, um, step side trucks from all manufacturers, but definitely from Chevy, the bed here would have been wood. And not just on the fancy ones. I had a bare bones 1981 work truck with a straight six cylinder uh, and four wheel drive. So I had a K10. This is a C10. Um, so this is a nice looking casting. Um, no real details. I wonder if they ever did this in a premium. Um, who knows? But for a buck, I'm not complaining. And, uh, as much of a Ford guy, like I said, the first first pickup truck I ever owned was a full-size Chevy, then the mid-size Chevy uh, S10, and then, uh, then I got my Ford Ranger, and I stopped messing with the lesser vehicles, and I had that for many years. So here is a premium Hot, uh, hot Wheels, so from the uh, Car Culture Truck Series, 1972 Ford Ranchero, metal uh, metal body, metal chassis, real riders. We're going to crack that open. Let's see what else was in the... Uh, uh, so they had a uh, Datsun 620, um, the Chevy Silverado, this Ranchero, a Ford F-250 like the Sam Walton one I had, but this one has uh, uh, ladder racks, a, a premium Subaru Brat. I wouldn't mind picking up these two. Actually, these three, all three of them, if I could find them. I have no interest in this uh, full-size Chevy Sil Silverado. Um, but let's see if I can, because I want to save the card for the card art. Um, I resisted taking my cars, most of my cars off the card for so many years. Uh, so even though I open them up, I'm going to try and keep some of the cards uh, just for nostalgia and for reference. So let's take a look at this. All right. So no taillight details. No, some sort of blemish on the paint. Maybe package rub. I'll try and uh, nice striping. Um, a couple of badges there. The uh, headlights and grill are molded into the metal base, so there's no paint details. Nice hood scoop. Um, so obviously metal body, metal base. Uh, 72 Ford Ranchero, copyright Mattel. Nice, a nice uh, aftermarket rims and rubber tires. The interior is, is that gray? Gray, yeah. And there's so little of it in the, yeah, so you can see some details in there. It's not bad. So now this is a premium real riders version and I've shown the basic one um, before. And the weight difference because of the plastic base. So before I pick on poor Hot Wheels too much, there's, there's that one. So 
There's also one other truck that I got recently on the pegs at Walmart and only, uh, I think it was 547 or so. One of the Auto World, um, the uh, K10. So a 1978 Chevy K10 Silverado fleet side. Uh, limited edition one of 18,808. Uh, this is the one in the midnight black with red. Um, love the card art on these Auto World. New casting. This is branded for 2020. Um, there's the others in the series. And let's see. So, in, I believe, uh, 2019 Ford F-150. I think I have a, an, a 2018. I have the blue Ford F-150 Silverado. Here we go, this new K10. I do not have any of the uh, Jeep Wranglers. Vintage Muscle, the 62 Impala SS 409 Convertible. I have the hard top and the 2020 Ford Mustang Boss 302 Laguna Seca. I don't have that. I, I will look for that. I, it's not something I'll heavily pursue as much as I love Mustangs, but I will pursue it. So I'm going to open this one up. See, I told you. Mainline, premium, and then Auto World. So as usual, some very nicely painted details. The interior seems to be riding up a, a little up on mine. Uh, hold on. There we go. Chevy Red, which is really orange, painted engine, black air cleaner. Nice details. High enough on the plate. Nice chunky tires compared to what you normally see, obviously. And this is nice. So Auto World has uh, redone the base. It's a completely new base for these lifted 4x4 trucks, uh, as opposed to what uh, Greenlight sometimes does, does, where they add the black plastic here, which is not terrible. But uh, as always, the tail light, uh, tailgate goes down. Nice painted details. Uh, the rims look very authentic. Um, all right, so red seats, red door, red door cards, but a black dash and black steering wheel. So got to give them a lot of credit using the two different colors in there. Um, having owned, so what did they say? This is a 78. Uh, 78 I owned an 81 and really the only differences would be the grill and headlights um, I had uh, the little single square headlights because mine was a base and mine was a step side um, and mine was not jack mine was stock height uh, skinny tire 4x4 but this is nice so I dug out uh, the other square body from Auto World I have which I believe is a 73 uh, I can look that up. And so obviously the same body, um, nicely detailed. But as I said, a completely new base. Actually, I never noticed it. So these lifted, this is four-wheel drive. This is actually also four-wheel drive. There's your differential and your leaf springs. There goes your front prop shaft, your transfer case, here's your cross member, your rear drive shaft. Um, Auto World calls this a C10. Let me see, I actually dug out the cord for this. All right, here we go. Oh, and I, let's see. I'm sorry, this is 75 Chevy Silverado C10 fleet side, new casting. That's this one. Uh, one of 8,500. Much more limited edition than this four-wheel drive. Um, but I hate to point out Auto World's mistake. 
C means two-wheel drive. K means four-wheel drive. Um, and any engine looks small in these engine bay. You have to imagine my Chevy had an inline six-cylinder. So it was narrower than that to uh, do service on it. I'm such a short guy. I'd have to sit on the inner fender well uh, and, you know, take out the spark plugs and everything like that. It was, uh, it was comical. So these are really nice models. So there's trucks too. Um, comment, let me know what you think. I know I had harsh words for the little Nissan and I am sorry to 2HD cat on that one. Uh, I still stand by the, uh, green light F-150 was better than the auto world. Um, and, but I still love these Chevys from Auto World. So, like, subscribe, comment. Comment's most important. Um, uh, I hope you like that. Let me know what you think. Thank you. Good night.